Hey there, Russell Trader. David here to bring you a live trade on February 6, 2014. As always, please seek financial advisory when trading with your money as these videos are for educational purposes only. Support your knowledge of the market and see what's going through my head on any given day. Always make sure you have a solid trading plan and always place a stop when placing your trade. Good morning, everybody. Here on the West Coast, as we can see, market internals Opened up today all in the green. Uh, as we can see here, our AD line has been holding well above the 750. Our market volume breadth uh, with a 4 to 1 on both the NASDAQ and the NICE as we jump over to the four market indices, all holding a little bit above their 25 minute open ranges. The Russell dipping back into its open range. So with market internals in the green, as had tweeted out on our stock twits feed this morning, bias is green and upside 80 line above 7 and 50 holding up. We're looking for an entry above the 25 minute open range and the weekly S2. So opening up the market today well above the daily gap and the daily pivot. Our 25 minute open range went ahead and set up. Our CAM H4, a sign of momentum with price action already breaking above. Here we have a almost a trifecta line here. Not only do we have the 25 minute open range high, the weekly S2, but we also have the daily pivot uh, set here at the post 30 minute open with the daily R1 uh, post 30 minute open. So three lines that we really need to break above to get some momentum. The first setup of the day was really on the market open with all market internals in the green. I had a 534 EMA crossover here and a 535 uh, above the 1321 and 80. So essentially, you're really your first setup of the day could have been at the market open and riding it up to the 25 minute open range. But here we could see we're having some hesitation here at the top of the 25 minute well, open range with some little bit of selling off here as price action is dipping back down back into the open range. Again, I'm looking for a true break above this trifecta line we could see here in the five minute bar, really nothing solid. Uh, we could start to see a Heiken Ashi bar signal that's uh, breaking above here. I would have liked to wait for a couple more bars, even possibly waiting above the 1102.3. But as we look at the time here, uh, we're coming up on the one hour open range, which will be set right up here. So really, uh, today's long entry will be above that one hour open range, 1102.3 for the upside. A little bit of morning sell off here, but again, that first setup of the day on the market open, which is not my trading style, but again, would have given you some nice ticks to the upside run up. Clearly a great setup, but for me, it's the discipline of the 25 minute open range to know where the trend in the market is headed for the day. So we'll, we'll come back on if we get up to the long side or whether we take a short underneath the 25 minute open range to the downside, uh, we'll follow through and uh, take you through the trade. Hey, the Russell Traders. No entry yet. As we could see, the 25-minute open range is uh, having some heavy resistance here. But again, Cam H4, Camarilla Pivot H4 is really holding up the line here. Our one-hour open range high has been set. Again, I'm looking for an entry above 1100.5. Uh, first target's off uh, probably within this area of, uh, of the one hour open high at 1101.8 to 11.2.3. Uh, what's supporting this move up? We have open ranges that are all above. And again, the Russell tightening up inside the range again. But again, we're bouncing back up all based on market internals all holding up above 750. My bias is still as posted, sitting patiently, waiting on an entry above this trifecta resistance. Uh, AD above 750, I believe that we're still headed upside, bias above ranges on all three indices, hopefully the breakout on the Russell, and again, here we have this tight range, and here we can see we are pouncing back up, looking for a clear breakout to the upside. We'll go ahead and bring it back on when the trade is on. Hey, the Russell traders went ahead and got in this trade over here at 11 point eleven zero one point seven as we could see market internals were able to push this up as we see here uh, we're still in the green market indices above their 25 minute open ranges well above pushing up strong breaking through this trifecta line here we have reached Fibonacci target one my first target has come off go ahead and change 
My stop to break even and let this runner go. And we will move this and manage this trade on the way up. So a winning trade here. Patience above the 25-minute open range. Waiting on that a line of resistance and making a nice trade to the upside. As we can see, EMA crossover both on 534. Fibonacci target 1 has been hit. And we also have the 5 above the 13, 21, and 80. So this is an upside move. All market industries above. And green all around, AD line above the 7 and 50. Four days in a row where our AD line has clearly given us some direction. So I'm going to stay in this trade, ride this out, keep that runner on. We are up two contracts at 400 and manage this stop up along the way. Fibonacci target as it comes up will manage the stop along the way and give you some guidance here. Hope you got in on this trade. Hey there, Jedi traders. Went ahead and decided to take the trade off, seeing that we had a line over here. Could have let this run, but I had a line of resistance right here, 11.11.04.8. Uh, so I just uh, come off there. As we can see, we probably have some upside room here with Fibonacci targets. I just wanted to go ahead and show you the live trade for today, taking two contracts on 480. But again, it was all about patience and waiting for the trade. So in recap, what do we have? We have a market AD line above the 750 with a line uh, right here at 1200. Market momentum is all to the upside. All our market indices popping above their 25 minute open range. Russell doing very nice right now. Showing you the live trade session. Here we had some bounce here in the morning, but our Camarilla H4 really held up the line. Uh, breaking above the 25 minute open range, well above the daily gap and pivot. A momentum above this, as we can see, price action uh, bounce right up to this uh, uh, post 30 minute R2 line. I decided to go ahead and take the contracts off uh, to show you this live trade today. And setup number one was really in the first session, uh, first 30 minutes. You could have ridden the uh, Heikinashi bars upside to the 25 minute open range where we saw some morning chop in this line. But again, the clear indication that uh, the entry above this 1100.5, one hour open range high, was the momentum. And as we could see, two contracts for 480 bucks, not bad. Uh, any re entry at this point, uh, upside, uh, we'd like to see. Uh, the market internals just grow, increase in strength. You could get in above this 11.04.8, uh, write it up here to this would be the daily R2. Uh, you can do a fade here, just watching market internals uh, will we'll, we'll get you uh, the ticks that you're looking for. So, this concludes today's live trading session. Feel free to stop by tradingfibs.com or any of my social media outlets to obtain more information. My trading mantra of no one thing, know it well, rings true for all markets, whether you trade the ES or any other indice or any other market. My plan will keep you disciplined. You can always find me every day on Twitter at TradingFibs. And as always, I leave the crystal ball to the experts. I only trade what's in front of me on my charts. Have yourself a great trading day.